Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about our topic, the estimate activity resources. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of EMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, estimate activity resources is the process of estimating team resources and the type and quantities of materials, equipment and supplies necessary to perform project work. The key benefit of this process is that it identifies the type, quantity and characteristics of resources required to complete the project. The estimate activity resources process is closely coordinated with other processes such as estimate cost process. Okay, now if we talk about the input for this process, the inputs are the project management plan, uh, which includes the resource management plan. Resource management plan defines the approach to identify the different resources needed for the project. It also defines the methods to quantify the resources needed for each activity and aggregate this information. Then a scope baseline. The scope baseline identifies the project and product scope necessary to meet the project objectives. The scope drives the needs for both team and physical resources. Then project documents which includes the activity attributes. Activity attributes provide the primary data source for use in estimating team and physical resources required for each activity on the activity list. Then activity list. The activity list identifies the activities that will need resources. Assumption log. The assumption log may have information on productivity factors, availability, cost estimates and approaches to work that will influence the nature and number of team and physical resources. Cost estimates. The cost of resources may impact resource selection from quantity and skill level perspectives. Then a resource calendar. A resource calendar identifies the working days shift, start and end uh, of normal base, uh, business hours, weekends and public holidays when each specific resource is available. The risk register. The risk register describes the individual risk that can impact resource selection and availability. The other uh, inputs are enterprise environmental factor and organizational process assets. Now the uh, tools which we use for this process are expert judgment, so basically expertise should be considered from individuals or group with specialized knowledge or training in team and physical resource planning and estimating. Then bottom up estimation. Team and physical resources are estimated at the activity level and then aggregated to develop the estimate for work package, control accounts and summary project level. Analogous estimation. Analogous estimating uses information regarding resources from a previous similar project as the basis for estimating a future project. Parametric estimation. Parametric estimation uses an algorithm or a statistic relationship between historical data and other variables to calculate resource quantities needed for an activity based on historical data and project parameters. The other tools includes our data analysis. Data analysis technique used in this process includes uh, the alternative analysis to evaluate identified options in order to select the options uh, to or approaches to use to execute and perform the work of the project. Uh, then project management information system. Project management information system can include resource management software that can help plan uh, basically that can help plan and uh, organize and manage resources, pools and develop resource estimates. Depending on the sophistication of the software, resource breakdown structure, resource availability, resource rates and various resource calendars can be defined to assist in optimizing resource utilization. The other input is the meetings. The project manager may hold planning meetings with functional managers to estimate the resources needed per activity, level of effort skill this level of the team resources and the quantity of the uh, materials needed okay now if we talk about the output the output one is the resource requirements uh, basically resource requirement identifies 
the types and quantities of resources required for each work package or activity in a work package and can be arranged to determine the estimated resources for each work package WPS branch and a project as a whole basis of estimates the amount of and type of additional details supporting the resources estimate vary by application area regardless of the level of details the supporting documentation should provide a clear and complete understanding of how the resource estimate was derived resource breakdown structure is a hierarchical representation of the resources by category and type Okay, examples of resource categories include but are not limited to labor, material, equipment and supplies. Uh, project document updates. Uh, the, it includes the assumption log. The assumption log is updated with assumptions regarding the types and quantities of resources required. Additionally, any resource constraints are entered including collective bargaining agreements, continuous hours of operations, planned leaves, etc. Lesson learned register. The lesson learned register can be updated with techniques that were efficient and effective in developing resource estimates and information on those techniques that were not efficient or effective. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.